The P.I. game's a lot like anything else. Long hours and little reward. I got a blue collar like everybody else. No glamour here. I'm like every other regular Joe or Jane. She walked through my door at 12 o'clock, awestruck. A damsel in distress, there's a new story for you. I presume you're Mr. Craig. You presume correct, miss. To what do I owe the honor? It's Mrs. actually. Mrs. Arlene Fuller. To what do I owe the honor, Mrs. Fuller? My husband's been missing for two days. He must be found. I hear you're quite different. What have you heard? I hear you're fast. Oh, you've been talking to the wrong people. I hear you're good. So you have been talking to some of the right people. I hear you're psychic. It's a pretty strong accusation, Mrs. Fuller. I'm good at my job. Maybe too good. That makes some people nervous. I don't need to explain myself to every two-bit hussy who can't keep tabs on her sugar daddy. Mike Torrance at First National gave me your name. I'm a loan officer there. Mike's a friend. Mike's a sleaze. Psychics are for carnivals. I just have a strong brain, that's all. Strong brain? Strong like Charles Atlas, baby. Strength can be very appealing, Mr. Craig. Read my mind. What am I thinking now? It doesn't work that way. Then how? Fuller? Yes, Fuller. I can't see your husband's face. You don't love your husband. I love his money. Figures. Are you going to find my husband, Mr. Cray? Or am I going to just give this reward to somebody else? I'll need a few of his personal belongings in about a day. Will these work? Very resourceful, I like that. Yeah, these will work. Call back tomorrow. Oh. mind leaves trails like spider webs over everything a man owns or loves. I follow the web, but I don't get stuck in it. But it looks like my new friend got caught by a different kind of spider, the stripper kind. Lucky for me, I'm no stranger to webs. I recognize the place, a decent club, if one could be called such a thing. And there's my fly, Mr. Fuller, quite the image of the wealthy missing husband. Pretty standard, really. Rich husband leaves beautiful trophy wife for beautiful trophy stripper. I trailed him from one seedy part of town to another. From this point, you need to document the events at hand. I prefer movies to still pictures. Then it's easy. Give the angry wife the motel address and cash your check. What? Apparently, there's more than one way out of that motel room. Put up your hands, Mac. You're mistaken, Jack. I'm here looking for a lost dog. Shh. Silence, please. You Ruskies never give up, do you? Ruskies? Man, what are you talking about? You want the machine. Machine? Wait, no. I came here for you. I've got something to tell you. I don't know your Ruskies. If you're not a pinko Ruski, then who hired you? Your mother. Okay, no mind for family. Your wife sent me. She's worried about you. It's pretty hot in here, isn't it? I like it warm, and your story doesn't hold water. I don't have a wife. Yeah, my mates are sweating up a storm in these I could think better if you took him off. Can you help me out? 
All right, but no funny business. My brain is handy for getting me out of sticky situations. You've got something for me, Mr. Craig? Yeah, I've got something for you. Something you might not like. I'll be the judge of that. Anna Vladimirovna, daughter of Vladimir Butrov, agent for the KGB. You're better than I thought you'd be. You don't know the half of it. <gasps> How did you know? It's, it's Mrs. Mrs. Ashley. Mrs. Ashley. You're telling the truth, but I don't have a wife. Your commie spy is the dame who hired me to case you. She's the one who wants the machine. I want this pretty pinko as bad as you do, but you're going to have to help me. I realize she trailed me here just a few moments before we had our little run-in, expecting me to lead her to you. I was going to take care of her, but you had to come and drag me into this dive. So now we're going to put on a little show. Here's what we're going to do. For the common good! You can keep your common utopia on your side of the Iron Curtain. It wouldn't have worked out. Russians are too uptight. And me? I'm like Frank Sinatra. I gotta have it my way, baby. <laughs> <laughs>